Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see what is data import wizard in Salesforce, what is use of data import wizard and then I will demonstrate you how to import data in Salesforce. So basically the data import wizard is the feature allows users to import the data into Salesforce object including standard and custom objects. The data import wizard supports five standard object, account, contact, lead, solution and the campaign member. Now using the data import wizard we can handle up to 50,000 records in a single import. Then it prevents duplicate records based on predefined criteria. That means the criteria or condition we define according to that criteria it will prevent duplicate records. Then it is very useful to regular data maintenance tasks like importing leads then uh, importing accounts like that. Then using the data import wizard we can perform different operations like we can import new data, update existing data. Then we have upset operation in that we can update existing data and if the data is not present then it will create new data of that particular object. Now let's take a scenario. I will demonstrate you how to import new data then update existing data and then I will show you how to use upset operation in data import wizard. So here we have a scenario. The marketing team has collected several potential leads from the recent webinar. Now in that CSV file there are number of leads and now we need to import that file into the Salesforce lead object. First I will show you the file. In this list we have first name, last name, title, ratings and email. Here I am creating new column to understand after importing these leads to which leads we have imported. Here I am entering lead number. Now here I am giving number. So we will understand recently imported leads. Here I have entered 1 to 10 that means we have 10 records to import. Now to store these values in the lead object we need to create one number field so that these values store over there. For that jump to the org, go to the object manager, search for a lead, open the lead object and in the field and relationship I am creating new field select data type number next here I am entering lead number the file name automatically populate then in the length you can set 16 or decimal point 2 and then click on next button then next and then save now let's check on the lead record page As you click on new button, the lead number field has successfully created. Now this file, the marketing team which we have provided, it always should be in CSV format. CSV format means comma separated values. Now currently here you can see this file in Excel format. To save this file in CSV extension, click on file. Then here you can see save as. Then select the file location and here you can see we have extension click on drop down list and search for csv format here you can see we have csv extension click on it and then click on save button now i have saved this file on desktop here you can see we have potential lead list with csv extension now here we will see how to import new records in salesforce org for that open the salesforce org we need to open the data import wizard for that click on setup then in the quick find box search for data import wizard. Under the integration options we have data import wizard click on it. And then as you scroll down here you will see launch wizard. Click on launch wizard button. Now we are on the first step that means choose data. Here we need to select object for which we are going to import records. As you scroll down here you can see standard object and custom object. In standard object we have account and contacts then leads then solution and then campaign members. That means in the standard object we have only limited object for that only we can import data. And in custom object we can import records for all custom object. That means all custom objects support for data import wizard. We also have another option to import data. As you navigate to the lead object. Here you can see on the list view we have import option. As you click on import option. The data import wizard will launch and here you can see in the custom object you can see only leads object. 
that means if you launch the data import wizard from the particular object only that object will appear here now we will import from data import wizard where all supported objects are available here we need to click on leads object now here we need to select what do you want to do that means add new record update existing record and then we have offset operation that means add new or update existing records here first we are going to add new records for that click on it then we have match lead options which is using offset operation and then assign new leg and then assign new leads to this source that means here we can select any lead source so that all records will assign for that particular lead source now here we also have assignment rules that means the lead we are importing which lead assignment rules we want to apply for that these options are not mandatory but if you want to select options you can select it and then here you can see where is your data located here we stored our data in excel csv file for that click on csv and then here we need to select file click on choose file button then we get the file location where you stored that file here you can see we have potential lead list with csv extension on the desktop here I am selecting this file and then click on open button. Now here you can see we have potential lead list in the CSV file. Then click on next button to proceed. Now our first step is completed. Now we need to edit mapping. In the edit mapping we need to map CSV headers with the Salesforce object. That means here you can see this header column with Salesforce object field API name. Here some fields get automatically mapped but some fields we need to map manually. Here we have one unmap field with ratings header. For that click on map button and then search for ratings. Here we will see lead object field API names and here we have searched for ratings. Here you can see we have rating API name from the lead object. Then sometimes you will not see map option for that zoom out the screen and then here you can see map option click on it. Now all fields are mapped. Sometimes you will have two columns in the CSV header and any one column get mapped with Salesforce object here you can change that and if it is ok then click on next button. Now here you can see we get error you need to map the required field company that means in the lead object we have company field required and that field should be in the excel sheet. So here I am opening the excel sheet and then creating column for company. Here I will copy the company name from another list. Here I am copying company name and then paste over here. The company name can be duplicate because some leads from same company. Then I am saving this file. Then again open the data import wizard. And here we need to again go to the first step for that. Here you can see previous button click on it and then click on csv file choose the file and then click on next button now here you can see we have company field and again we need to map this rating field for that click on map search for rating and then click on map button now again click on next button and now we have mapped field 7 and unmapped field 0 and now we are on the final step for start importing. Click on start import button and here we will see success message. Click on ok button. Now here you can see bulk data load job UI. As you scroll down here you can see record process 13 and status is completed. Now we will navigate to the lead object where we can see the imported records. As you click on lead object. Here select the all open leads so that we can add columns. Here you can see select field to display click on it. And then we will add lead number column so that we can verify the recently imported leads. Here I am removing the lead source. Then we need create a date. We don't need of lead status. Here I am adding email. Then ratings. Then company and click on save button. Now here you can see lead number that we entered in the excel sheet that successfully imported and here created date. This is current date here you can see the system date. Now this is how we can import new records using data import wizard in salesforce. Now we will see scenario for update data. 
now we want to change some leads rating to high that means the leads we have from those leads some leads are highly interested for those lead we need to change setting to high so update the ratings open the excel sheet and here i am changing seven number lead rating to high then eight number and then nine number and then save the csv file now again open the data import wizard launch wizard select leads and here we need to select update existing records click on it and then select csv file click on choose file and here we have potential leads list click on it and then click on next button again map the ratings next then click on start import click on ok here you can see record processed 11 record failed 0 and status completed now again i am navigating to the leads refresh the page now we have changed the rating values of 7 8 and 9 here you can see 9 number lead rating changed to the high then 8 number here is the 8 number rating change to the high and then 7 number now we will see our third operation upsert here the marketing team gave you the another leads list where some leads were already there but they changed some details of existing leads and there are some new leads also for that i am changing the excel sheet here i am entering new lead new lead 01 i am copying any title rating cold here i am giving number for the new leads 100 then new lead 02 rating warm then here 101 here i am entering existing a company name now here we have created two new records but we need to update some record also Here I am changing the last name. Here you can see I have changed two records last name 01 and 02 and then save the CSV file. Now again open the data import wizard, launch wizard, leads and here we need to select add new and update existing records. Click on it. And here we can select match lead by that means the record which already present in the salesforce org and the importing new records on which field basis it will get matched here i have selected names then click on csv file select the file click on next then map the ratings click on map next then start import click on ok as you scroll down here you will see record failed one as you see the view result one excel sheet will download open that file okay nothing is failed this one is the random value so we will see on the lead object refresh the page the name of number one field has been changed and the second lead also and then we have entered two new records where lead number was 101 and 100 that means we have updated the existing records and two records are new record which was not already present in the lead object now this is how we can use upset operation 
now we have seen how to import new data update existing data and then upsert operation now here is the difference between data import wizard and data loader that means data import wizard and data loaders these both are used for the data manipulation operations here in the data import wizard this is the web based that means we can access through salesforce setup but the data loader is the desktop application we need to download it and we can run it externally here we need to know installation required the data loader we need to install it in the data import wizard we can import up to 50000 records but in the data loader here is the advantage we can import up to 5 million records then in the data import wizard only some standard object we can use and all custom object and then in the data loader all standard object and custom object are using and then in the data import wizard we cannot schedule importing process but in the data loader we can schedule that now in this video we have seen what is data import wizard then which operation we can perform by it if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates